Okay, hi, my name is James Leone. I'm doing another Linux desktop report quickly here on the Logitech QuickCam C310. As was the case with the Logitech QuickCam C260, all I had to do was plug in the USB camera into my USB port. And since I already had uh, the program GUVC Viewer installed that I installed from the Ubuntu Software Center, and I suppose, actually I didn't even have to do anything to get the driver to load when I used my other camera, so that's null. You just basically, to get this thing to work, you go into your, although I'm in a KDE setup, you go into the Ubuntu Software Center, and then you search for GUVC Viewer. Download, install it, you're done with that part. Plug it in, double click on the icon, the camera will light up green, and you're ready to go. It'll capture audio and sound. Now, if you need to adjust some of the um, settings, um, it's not going to be as easy for me to see now, but I can go over some of them. So, under on the image controls tab, if you happen to have to mess with it, I didn't find that I did. Um, I have auto on here, but it's got uh, brightness of 128, contrast of 32, saturation of 32, no gain, 24 sharpness, and one for backlight, and exposure auto is a pressure priority mode. The video, um, I'm using 25 by 1 frames per second, 1184 by 656. The specs are actually um, 1280 by 720 pixels. I'm using the MJ. PG camera output, image formats raw, uh, video codec is MPEG4 slash ASP, video format is MKV, which is Matroska, and then on the audio I've got the default sample rate, default samples, and the audio format is MPEG2 using LAVC. I think I've got everything there that you need to know. So basically if you go out, you get a Logitech QuickCam C310 and you plug it into your um, computer that has a USB port, probably going to need a newer than Pentium 4 computer, at least, well not necessarily, but I would suggest that as far as not necessarily just for the camera, but for everyday use. Um, you get a reasonable amount of speed out of it, it takes a reasonably good picture. And if you need to adjust the, the, the settings, you can do that. Of course, to install software, you have to have an internet connection to download and install it from the Ubuntu Software Center. Otherwise, it's going to say can't get it. Um, that's the one thing <laughs> that you have to have. Um, you can go to the GUVC View web page um, from another computer, download the binary, and put it on a you know, USB drive or something and bring it with you and it'll be able to install and use it um, if that's your situation. That's probably the only way to really get it over there. Um, I don't think it, I don't think the binary would fit on a floppy drive. It might. I don't know if anybody really uses those anymore. Um, so that should be it. And so I'm going to load this up and I'm going to send this off to the person I promised it to and that's it.